Hi Fudgies and welcome back to Bunches of Lunches. This week I'm sharing five super cute but easy Halloween themed lunches. Hi guys and happy Monday! For today's lunch I'm going with a spooky spider theme. And I actually started by making a treat last night. These are not super hard to make, they just take a little bit of time. It's a spider donut. For this I'm going to use some mini chocolate donuts and I'm also going to use a bunch of pretzels and I'm going to cut the pretzels so I can use the pieces like spider legs. You just have to stick the pretzel directly into the donut, it's really easy. And finally I'm going to add a few spider eyes. Now I know technically the spider is supposed to have more legs, but I'm just going to take a shortcut and put six. It's okay. And there should probably be more than two eyes as well. And then for the fruit I'm going with a medley of grapes and I'm going to tell the kids that they are spider eggs. For our veggie today I'm just going to throw in some sugar snap peas. The star of today's lunch is going to be a cheese pizza. I get these at Trader Joe's and normally I get the pepperoni, but for today I went with the cheese so I can make a really cute spider on top. This is just a bunch of different olives that I've cut up. One for the body, one for the head, and then smaller slices for the legs. And yes, I know there should be more legs, but I think he looks cuter with six legs. And then I'm also throwing in some pumpkin yogurt. This is my favorite pumpkin yogurt. It is the Noosa brand. And just to make it extra cute, I'm gonna throw in one pumpkin sprinkle, a giant pumpkin sprinkle, and a couple more little spider rings. And that is everything in our spider themed lunch. Let's see if the kids like it. Lunch is over now and here's what we ate. So what did you guys think of the spider lunch? Really liked it. Yeah, yeah. I know Lily's actually really afraid of spiders, aren't you? Yeah. She does not like spiders at all, but did you like your spider lunch? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Um, the pizza. The pizza, those pizzas from Trader <laughs> Joe's are really good. So Kenzie and Jackson, what was your favorite part? The spider donut. <laughs> the spider donut, the yogurt, the pizza, and everything. Pretty much everything. See you tomorrow. Hi there and happy Tuesday. For today's lunch, I wanted to go with a jack-o'-lantern theme. And I'm actually gonna start by making the treat, which is gonna be a really simple but festive Rice Krispie treat. I actually got this kit at Walmart. It wasn't very expensive, but it also doesn't make very many, only about six. For today's sandwich, I'm going to use my pumpkin sandwich cutter. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of mayo and turkey, but then I'm also gonna add the cheese, but instead of inside the sandwich, I'm gonna put it outside and I'm making it look like a jack-o'-lantern. To keep the sandwich together, I'm just gonna add a cute little jack-o'-lantern pick. And I found these at Daiso, the Japanese dollar store. I think the shredded carrots definitely look a little bit spookier, especially if you top it with a little <laughs> plastic spider ring. For our fruit today, I'm keeping it really simple. I'm just gonna throw in some cuties, and I've taken a marker to draw a jack-o'-lantern face. Super easy, but super cute. I'm also gonna throw in a little snack today. This is a snack bag I picked up at Walmart, and to make it into a jack-o'-lantern, I just use a Sharpie. And it also has a cute little twisty tie on top. I'm also gonna go ahead and add a Baby Bell cheese. These are the special Halloween edition, and they come with lots of different Halloween characters on the outside. So of course today I'm gonna add the jack-o'-lantern one. And that is everything in our jack-o'-lantern themed lunch today. And after lunch, I will show you what they ate. Lunch is over now, and here's what we ate. So out of everything in today's lunch, what was your favorite part and which was your least favorite part? I didn't really like the Rice Krispie Treat because I didn't want my tongue to be black. Yeah, I do have to say if you buy that kit, the dye in the kit will totally dye your tongue black, so be careful. Oh, that's right, Jackson does not like Baby Bell cheese, it's true. I keep sticking them in hoping that he'll change his mind, but are you gonna change your mind? Yeah. No. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hi friends and welcome to Wednesday. For today's lunch I couldn't decide if I wanted to do a Halloween cat or a witch and so I'm actually going to combine the two and make a cat witch or a witch cat. I don't know, you'll see, it's gonna be really cute. So for this I'm using two different sandwich cutters. The first one is a little cat face and the second is a little witch hat. For this sandwich I'm gonna go ahead and just do PB&J, really simple. 
but I know the kids will like it. And then for the witch hat, I'm actually gonna use some of the leftover heel pieces of their bread. So the bread will be a little bit darker and you'll be able to see the witch's hat a little bit better. Today's fruit is gonna be super simple. I'm taking some diced peach cups. These are the peaches in 100% juice, no sugar added. And then all you have to do is draw a little jack-o'-lantern face on the lid. For the veggie today, I'm making some witch fingers. And this is just a little bit of celery. But instead of adding peanut butter, I'm going to add vegetable cream cheese. And then for the witch's nail, I'm just adding a few whole almonds. I'm also gonna throw in some of these little yogurt covered raisins. And these are so cute and tiny. And these are orange and black just for Halloween. Also in today's lunch, I'm gonna throw in some Halloween themed pretzels. <laughs> and to make it even cuter, I'm gonna put the pretzels in a little plastic witch's cauldron. I'm also gonna throw in some of this Halloween baby bell cheese. Today I have a mummy, a Dracula, and a Frankenstein. Okay guys, so how did lunch go today? I like the witch cat, what did you guys think? I like it, I wa my favorite part was the witch cat sandwich and the fruit bowl. Lily loves fruit cups, don't you? Yeah. She would eat them all day if yeah. I let her. <laughs> And I do have to say that Lily did end up sharing her sandwich with Griffin because he thought it was really cool too. What did you guys think of the witch's fingers? I don't really like it. That was kind of weird. What was your favorite part? What was your least favorite part? My favorite part was the yogurt raisins. My favorite part was the fruit cup and the pretzels. See you tomorrow, fudgies! Hey guys, and happy Thursday. Now for today's lunch, I wanted to make something other than a sandwich, and so I went with some quesadillas instead. I'm using my bat-shaped cookie cutter and my tombstone-shaped cookie cutter for this. And I'm gonna keep these super simple. I'm just gonna add some cheddar cheese. And then on the outside, I'm using my food writer pens. I'm gonna add a little RIP on the tombstone and also add some embellishments to the bat. And speaking of embellishments, I'm also gonna throw in some of these really cute picks I found at Daiso. In this back corner, I'm gonna throw in some cucumbers. I've used my crinkle cutter to make them look really special. I'm also gonna throw in as many eye picks as I can. Next, I'm gonna throw in some bat and ghost veggie chips. I think I buy these every Halloween and the kids love them. And to make it look extra fun, I'm gonna add some of these googly eyes. These are so cute, I found them at the Dollar Tree. And I'm throwing them in just for fun. They really have no other purpose. For some added protein today, I'm gonna to roll up some of this uncured salami and stick it onto a jack-o'-lantern pick. Instead of a regular fruit today, I'm going to add a smoothie. Now, I actually made these last night, so they are frozen right now, but by the time lunch rolls around, they will be defrosted and they'll be delicious. This is just a peach smoothie, and to make it extra spooky, I'm going to add some gummy eyeballs to the top. For the treat today, I'm gonna to throw in two little Halloween themed brownie bites. Okay guys, what do you think of these spooky quesadillas? I liked it. I yeah. liked it. I think quesadillas are always good. I do prefer quesadillas when they're hot though. Yeah, they are a little bit better when they're hot, aren't they? What do you think about the smoothie? Really yeah. like that. I yeah. really like adding smoothies to lunch boxes. I think it's really fun. As long as they don't leak, then they're <laughs> if they leak, then they're no fun. Lily, what was your favorite part? The googly eyes. <laughs> They're so fun. Okay guys, I am so ready for it to be Friday. The star of today's lunch is going to be the classic mummy dog. I make these every Halloween, but instead of a regular mummy dog, I'm gonna make a walking mummy dog. So all you have to do is go ahead and cut some legs and some arms. You're also going to take some crescent dough and cut little strips of dough to wrap around the mummy dog. Then you just bake it in the oven, and I think these are best served hot, but you could also eat them at room temperature. I'm also gonna throw in a ghost cheese, another really simple Halloween food item you can make. It's just a string cheese, and I'm taking a Sharpie and drawing a ghost face on the outside. Today I have a really special treat that I actually made last night because these aren't hard to make, they just take a little bit of time. You just take some Nutter Butter cookies and you dip them in some melted white chocolate. Before the chocolate hardens, you're gonna wanna add some eyes. These are just little candy eyes. And then I'm gonna take the remaining white chocolate and put it into a little Ziploc bag. 
I'm gonna trim the tip off of the bag and then go back and forth over the cookie so that it looks like a mummy. For the fruit today, I wanted to try to make a Frankenstein kiwi. This is just a regular kiwi, and I've stuck some chocolate chips in for his eyes and some pretzel in for his mouth and his little bolts in the neck, but I have to say this did not turn out as well as I thought it would, so I would consider this a Pinterest fail. I'm gonna throw it in the lunch anyway, though. Next, I'm gonna throw in some of these cherry tomatoes, and I've added them to these ghost picks just to make them really cute. <laughs> and you'll probably notice that I love cute Halloween things, not gory or bloody or anything like that. Today, I'm also including a little applesauce pouch, and I'm just gonna take some crepe paper and wrap it around and tape it on. Then I'm gonna add some stick-on googly eyes so it will kind of look like a mummy. And finally, I'm also gonna throw in one of these special Halloween Kool-Aid juice packs. It's definitely a once in a while item. Okay guys, I think this might be my favorite lunch out of all this week. What do you think? It was very cool. I think mummy dogs are so fun and they're really easy. I don't really like the tomatoes. Yeah. Now I have to say that the Frankenstein kiwis were a huge fail. Not only because they didn't turn out very well, but the kiwis themselves were, were gross. They were actually pretty gross. And I like kiwis, but there was something about these ones that were like mushy, but not sweet at all. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's not kiwi season anymore. But what do you guys think of the mummy cookies? Because I think that those turned out super cute. I love them. Yeah. yeah. How can you go wrong with a peanut butter cookie covered in white chocolate? You just can't go wrong. See you next week, fudgies. And happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> did you find a Luna lunchbox in today's video? If you did, let us know in the comments down below where you found her and use the hashtag Luna lunchbox. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.